Terima kasih kerana masih lagi bersama saya dalam Deko Impian. Ha, nampak ni, inilah dia rumah seterusnya yang kita akan pergi. Memang besar, memang cantik. Rumah ni terletak di Taman Seputih. Nama dia Villa Seputih. Sebenarnya tuan punya rumah pun dah tunggu kat sana. Mr. Huan dan juga Mr. Tony. Jom. Wow. Hello. Hello. How are you Mr. Huan? How are you? Hi Chi, how are you? How are you? Fine, thank you, fine, thank you. Jadi inilah dia tuan punya rumahnya, Mr. Huan dan juga Mr. Tony selaku dia punya arkitek and designer. Ha, nampak tak masuk-masuk tu ada macam taman kat sini yang bukan di taman ada pokok sekali. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the whole concept of this house. Hmm. Okay. Mr. Tony, how, how did it work? You're the architect designer and you used yes. to be an ex-developer. So how, how do you guys merge the ideas and concept? Yeah, so this house is, was, uh, when was very brave uh -huh. to build a house in such an unusual area. This is a, a non-developed area of Sapute on right. the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur. And he was also very brave because he, uh, he understands building uh -huh. because he's a very experienced contractor developer. He's very brave to make the heights the volume of the space very tall. So we've got five meters from floor to floor. That one, so yeah. my challenge was to, like I do at all my houses, is right. to make this house feel that it's sitting in a resort or sitting in a, like a mountainside villa. Even though Sapute, of course, is not mountainside. It's, <laughs> yeah. a, it's a very undeveloped, nondescript area next to some commercial properties nearby. So the interesting challenge was to make this into a gorgeous hillside home, which I think with his expertise, on knowing how to build and uh, and then focus on bringing outside to the inside. I think we yeah. created something really unusual here. So maybe on, on your side, maybe do you have any idea, any input, any concept that you wanted? Uh, yes. Certain things. The important thing was a lot of our furniture is actually the pieces that I like that we have picked up from overseas. Uh -huh. Where you know, and Tony has actually designed the space that fits it in very nicely. I see. Yes. So you have a lot mm. of your own collection yes, yes. and just mm -hmm. wanted mm -hmm. a beautiful space yes, to just... Mm -hmm. These were all through the years you know, that we've collected. Mm -hmm. That means all the things that we see, even yes. the furniture and some yes. of the decoratives are like... Yes. ...could mm -hmm. be from all mm -hmm. over the world. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Like so this long table here yeah. is actually from India. It's one of these... Wow! Uh, ...that is from... It's a long single piece table. Wow! Yes. <laughs> and uh, we, we seldom you see a table that is that long. Yeah. <clears throat> Wow. Yes. These pieces needed the right space to work in, and I mm. think they were. But also, uh, over the years, when it collected even some old building materials, yes. like the steel casing for the lift, mm. which ah. we then used also to build this mm. cabinet down here, which is a mm -hmm. solid steel cabinet. Mm. You see the one on the right in the middle? Yes. Mm. This one, yeah. It's all yes. solid steel. So mm. these were bits of old materials that, when it collected over the years, we just needed to create something from them. So <laughs> a lot of it is, uh, is also custom made. A lot yes. custom made, yeah. yeah. Customized. Yeah own self, you know, to the own self, what we, we what we would like to have using those those material, you know, which is actually you can't find it anywhere else, yeah. you know. So like, this, let's say this this bureau here is also from Europe. It's also one of the rare pieces. Wow. Yeah. So it's a, like a, you know, a bureau. So now it sits beautifully yes, in this So it fits here. into a nice, yeah, yeah, like a second hall. Mm -hmm. So this is your... Yes. Chill out area, your yes. TV, Correct. your yes. TV, TV area. Yeah, where we just sit, you know. Wow. This part coming out is like walking into a gallery. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does give yeah. that feel. Mm. So the upper area here is, is more to the family yes. side or? More on a family sitting hall, the mm -hmm. upstairs hall, sort of like a private area. Right. You know? mm. And now you can see more of your collection of your, yes. your vases. Yes, things that we keep, that we have been collecting. Yes. Mm. <clears throat> what about this side of the wall? This is slightly different. Yeah, this is all panel work, uh, mm -hmm. which Wayne and his family wanted to have a bit of formality to so mm -hmm. contrast with the bare finishes of the Right. Off form concrete and the bare brick, and uh, I think the contrast is actually mm -hmm. quite nice. It kind of makes it makes the brick look more unusual when it's got something to be compared with. Yeah, it doesn't stand out in any odd way. Or something no, like that. it just blends nicely. It blends nicely, yeah. And of course, wow. the, the spaces here are so generous. Like normally, 
when you work in spaces this big, uh, it's because you need lots and lots of rooms, but mm -hmm. their fan, what Wayne wanted to do was create a space that was spacious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've no pressure on the space, it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe you can tell me the overall concept of this house. Uh, I think what I, when I met with Wen and his family, I could see that they had a very particular personal vision of where they wanted to be, which are the elements of classicism, mm -hmm. elements of their Chinese culture, mm -hmm. and also they are very, because he comes from a contracting and developing background, he was very brave and open to working in bare finish materials, bare face brick, off form concrete, so these bare finishes. And because he knew what he was doing in terms of building the house, we were able to create it in a very big volume of space. Right. And that then allowed us to work a difficult space in terms of the location in the, in the mm -hmm. area, but make it really work and still have it very open and green and fresh and cool and so on. Do you have all the idea? Do you have any interior designer help you all the way or do you have your own ideas? It's all like more on uh, ideas came from uh, Tony, how we should be, you know, highlighting it and putting it in place because some of the pieces are really extraordinarily long mm -hmm. and big pieces, so we need that kind of uh, space yeah. to, to put all that, to carry that in the correct proportions. Yeah. I think Tony has that dead on. Yeah. So what's the whole size of this whole house? Oh, we size? lost count. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it must be about, yeah. it's about 11 or 12,000 yeah, square 12, feet. Yeah, 12,000 square feet, yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how many rooms or how many space that you have in there, like we, you have the theatre rooms, yes, you have the bedrooms. we have actually bedroom. the rooms, the bedrooms are there, very few bedrooms, because the bedrooms are actually huge. Each bedroom has got its own walk-in wardrobe, mm -hmm. and wow. then also has its, its own study room, and uh, everything yeah. in there that you need. Is there anything else you would like to add, maybe some tips or any advice for people out there if they want to create their own space? Perhaps, mm. like, uh, in terms of design or... Yeah, you can't do it in an instant. Mm -hmm. You need to spend the time to learn what you like and don't like. Right. So, if you think you're going to be building or creating your own space, say in six months or a year's time, make the effort to go to the blogs, go to the, uh, the TV shows, go mm -hmm. to the, the YouTube clips, and really look for a lot into what ideas you like. Research, spend the time to learn what you really like. Okay, so I think that's about all the time we have. Thank you so much, Tony. Nice, nice seeing to see you again. You. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Fan, thank you so yeah. much. You have a lovely home and hope to come back here again soon, one day. <laughs> okay. okay, see ya. Bye-bye. Okay. Ah, macam, narian konsep modern urban. Ah, semoga setiap perkongsian kita akan jadikan inspirasi untuk menghasilkan deko impian kita sendiri. Sampai di sini saja episod kali ini, tapi belum berakhir lagi kerana di episod seterusnya, kita akan pergi ke tiga buah rumah yang berlainan pula konsep ni. Kalau nak tahu, Teruskan bersama saya, Syirah Zali dalam Deko Impian. Assalamualaikum.